Hey guys, Josh Gadamu here with another Gundam review, and today I'm reviewing the ORX005 Gut Plants, or Gay Plants, depending on how you want to mispronounce it. And this comes from the Deluxe uh, Variable Mobile Armor set from Banpresto, which includes the Masala, which uh, I have over on the side, somewhat disassembled, and I'll be reviewing that as well. The Masala is actually closer to the MSIA scale than the Gut Plant. But uh, it's still pretty cool. So we have a comparison here of the Gaplant mobile armor that transforms with the MSA version 1 Mark II. You can see there's a pretty huge difference. Um, you'll see later when we compare the Masala that it's actually a much better fit to the MSA line. But still, these are Titan suits that did not get MSA versions. And so if one wants them in coll their collection but doesn't want to get a model kit of it, and they haven't made a robot spirit of it yet, your options are pretty slim. Banpresto, in my opinion, is kind of like Bandai's, like there's the official Bandai releases. And these are, these things come from Bandai, but Ban, when Banpresto makes stuff, they're kind of like the lesser quality cousin. And uh, that fits here. We don't have any alternate hands. Our hands do seem to turn a little bit, but uh, these figures are pretty old. In fact, the Masala, one of its claws broke as soon as I took it out of the box, which was kind of sad. Um, at least I was the one who broke it. This is from 2003. We're about to enter 2016, so 13 years old. Let's go over the articulation and the weapons. Got lasers in here, so... If, if those were out of the way, I suppose he could punch you in the face. That might be kind of hard. Got thrusters in those. They can turn all around. It's got a little ball joint for an elbow. So it doesn't really have the grand articulation that one might hope for. But it does have some articulation. Got little wires embedded into the plastic. The shoulders are pretty cool. They got a ball joint. And then there's a second ball joint in there. So effectively double ball jointed shoulders. Which makes up for some of that lacking of an elbow. Got thrusters here in our backpack. Another thruster here. This kind of moves up and down. You can see that there's some joints inside there which help for his transformation process. I won't be covering how to transform him as I uh, don't... Transforming mobile suits and me don't get along very well. So we'll switch to this transformation here in a moment. You see lots of thrusters here in the leg. Foot's on a ball joint. Leg, knee is on a ball joint as well. And he's got this huge, huge thruster thing, which is pretty cool too. So, let's take a look at his transformation. So here's its transform mode, as best as I could do. I had a piece actually break on me during its transformation from here in the back. And I'll cover that before. It's kind of a soft, not very durable plastic, except for this, which is a hard plastic. So this seems to be some kind of space booster or something like that. Looks like he's going to be cruising through space pretty quick. And that just kind of fits underneath his legs. It's kind of difficult to transform because he's a little bit floppy. And uh, that seems to be what happens when you make transformable mobile suits. I don't know about model kits, but some of the MSA get a little floppy too. Which is why I, I don't care for them as much. Like I said, this is a Banpresto figure, so its quality is a little less, and that's probably why it broke, than being 13 years old. But it would be able to shoot and then be a bit more maneuverable than it was in its mobile suit form. You can see our head there, and it has a pretty cool mono eye. Things like that. Thruster thing comes off. It's it's barely connects. It really does. It's, it's really cool, but it... I don't know how you display the figure, honestly. And so there's some weird mechanisms there inside of him. The arm kind of comes off a bit. There we go. So he's transformed. This piece was supposed to come out of the way so this little peg could go up into there. And it did. And it seems to be, I thought there was a mechanism in there, and maybe there was, and it was just stuck. Oh, yeah, that's what was happening. There is a mechanism in there. 
just got stuck and so it broke. Uh, the plastic is that's what happened with my masala as well. And uh, it doesn't super glue well, I'm afraid to say. So I might have to get creative. Well, I'm ultimately got these so that if I ever do a Zeta side story stop motion animation, that I would have some of those cool Zeta suits that they never made MSIA of. Overall, well, the figure's cool and it's neat to have it. I don't recommend it. Um, Bam Presto stuff is... Sometimes you can get some really cool accessories out of Bam Presto stuff. Um, but the figures that Bam Presto makes will usually leave you disappointed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the toy review. Please like, favor, and subscribe as I post a new video nearly every day. And please check out our eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info area. And we have all kinds of cool toys there, including Gundams. Catch you guys later.